Hey peeps, what's up, Manchi here, back with another video. And ever since I got this Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus, I have had a major issue with this device, and that issue is delayed notifications, especially from apps like Telegram, Gmail, and Gmail being the main culprit. The issue persists even if you have enabled your always on display. I would put the Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus side by side with my iPhone. Send myself an email, the iPhone would get the notification. Five minutes later, as soon as the Galaxy S23 Plus would go into deep sleep, same issue. I would not get the email notification but as soon as I would turn on my display or unlock the device I would get the email notification so it looks like Samsung is killing apps in the background and before you tell me that hey Manchi you could have gone into your settings and once you were in the settings section you could have gone into applications here and if you search for Gmail you can set it the battery usage to unrestricted and yes i did do that battery usage was set as unrestricted and even then i was getting delayed notifications from gmail and other applications the next thing i tried was i went into the battery and device care going to battery going to background usage limits and i disabled this toggle of put unused apps to sleep i even added gmail to the never sleeping apps and the issue persisted even with always on display enabled gmail notifications would not come on time and yes i had enabled the category notifications in gmail so finally 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 i found a solution the solution is to disable android those that is the only solution which worked for me now the downside of disabling android those is that it is going to kick back in or get enabled on its own when you restart your device so you have to follow the process once again now with my rant over here is the process the first thing you need to do is you need to enable developer options so you will go into settings then you will go into about phone here and you will go into software version you will see something called build number tap on that seven times if you have a pin or password setup you have to enter your pin or password and then you are going to get a toast notification that you are now a developer then if you go back into settings right below about phone you will see something called developer options herein go into developer options scroll down a little bit and you will see something called usb debugging enable usb debugging you will get a pop-up notification that hey this is only meant for developers select ok over here and then the next thing we need to do is connect our phone to the computer now once you've connected your phone to the computer you need to download adb and fastboot because you're going to use some adb commands so this here is the official page of developer.android.com and as you can see you have sdk platform tools for windows mac and linux and these here are zip files which contain your adb and fastboot windows users will have to install drivers and video on how to install adb and fastboot drivers on your computer can be found in the description of this video now once you have downloaded these adb and fastboot zip files you need to unzip them and once you've unzipped them you're going to get a folder if i go inside this folder you will see over here i have adb and i also have fastboot next thing mac and linux users we need to open terminal over here and windows users need to open command prompt in this path so if i do pwd command for mac and linux this here is the Path. and if i do ls space hyphen al i am in the correct folder which has adb and fastboot windows users can do dir space slash p to check that they are in the correct folder the first command we need to enter is to check whether our device is being detected in adb mode or not the command for that is adb space devices and mac and linux users do need to enter dot slash before the command now once you press enter you are going to get a allow usb debugging notification on your phone and as you can see over here right now my device is set as unauthorized because i do need to allow that usb debugging 
Now, once we have allowed USB debugging, if I do ADB devices one more time, you can see this time around the device says device and not unauthorized. This means that we are good to execute our ADB commands. Next up, you need to execute this command. So the command is ADB space shell space dumpsys space device idle space disable. Of course, Mac and Linux users do need to enter dot slash before the command. Now, once you've entered this command, go ahead and press the enter key. And once you do that, you will get a message that device idle mode disabled, light idle mode disabled. Now, freedom success you are going to get your gmail notifications on time in fact they will be on par with your iphones and maybe at the same time maybe a delay of 30 to 35 seconds maximum and before you ask me hey manji how do i enable this well all you have to do is change the command replace the word disable by enable and it is going to be enabled but super important thing to note if you disable this reboot your device Android DOS is going to get enabled again. So you have to execute this command once again to disable Android DOS so that you can fix the issue of delayed notifications on your Samsung Galaxy S23 series. Another thing you're going to ask me is, hey Manji, what about battery drain? If I disable Android DOS, is it going to cause excessive battery drain? In my personal experience, no. 12 hours 13 hours device idle while i was sleeping the battery drain was around five to six percent and similarly with android doors enabled eight to ten hours i got the same amount of battery drain so maybe just maybe with android doors disabled your battery drain is say one percent more overnight me personally i am more than happy with that because samsung really needs to fix their game wherein they're killing apps in the background resulting in delayed notifications from applications like gmail telegrams and there it is peeps that is how you fix delayed notifications from gmail and other applications on your samsung galaxy s23 series of course if you have any other fix any other tip and trick feel free to mention it in the comments on this video